Yeah. Now to go home, gotta, I miss the kiddos. Back to real life. Just want to say I just got back home from LA. Hey, LA has definitely been a vibe, man. So shout out to everyone in LA. Can't wait to go back. I'll be back in California. I think it's January 14th and 15th for the Sneaker Expo. Hope to see you guys there. Two-day event is a different type of event. It has like, you know, anime, some vintage, sneakers, of course, uh, food trucks from, you know, different type of food laying all around the world. So it's going to be a good time, man. So I can't wait to uh, come through and check it out again, man. Hey, like I said, shouts to LA, man. Definitely vibe. Shouts to uh, God Souls. Uh, like I said, man, I, I was glad to be back. I was super glad to be back. But anyways, we got some unboxings to do. So I, you know, of course, had to make a, a couple of deals uh, before the event and during the event and while I was in California, right? So anyways, um... This one, I got a W from Sneakers. Actually, my wifey got a W on Sneakers. She actually uh, hit for me, and because it was California time, it was three hours difference. I was knocked out of sleep. She went for it, because I was like, you know what, I, I don't need to get on Sneakers, but she went for it, and she actually got a W. And the stupid thing I noticed about one thing about says Nike is that like, it says like nine and a half right there. I'm guessing. They can probably tell what it is, maybe. At least it doesn't say Cherry 11. No, no, it doesn't say that. We have a special early, early that I cannot wait. Like, people are already calling this the sneaker of 2023. I'm like, slow down. I like it and all, but slow down. Anyways, hold on, let's just open this one up first. All right, here it is. Voila, you know. Cherry 11s, I swear, I have not gotten so many DMs in my life about, hey, I got Cherry 11s, I'll trade you for Lost and Founds or Alma Meniere's. I'm like, bruh, no. Um, but anyways, here it is. I mean, they cool and all. I'm not, sh I, I, I'm seriously, I don't know if I'm going to keep in my collection. I really don't know. I got, already got a lot of Jordan 11s in my collection. I rarely keep any like non-OG colorways. The only non-OG colorways I do like, I got like University Jordan 11, or the, um, you know, Pantone 11s. I got in the Anniversary 11s, the Gamma 11s. I didn't keep the cap and gown. I didn't keep the Windlight 96 or 82. I didn't keep any of that. And this is, you know, I kind of put these the same categories like the Wind like 82 or 96, so. Again, it's a cool colorway if you guys like Jordan 11s, you know, but you know, I'm OG head. This is not really an OG colorway. I guess it could have been, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. How you guys feel about these, you know? Like, and another thing too, these things retail at 225 and two plus tax and shipping to my door. It was like 250. So, you know, again, that's the same thing as a cool gray, but that's a cool gray. This is a Cherry 11. Hey man, I don't know what I'll do with it. I don't know what I'll do with it just yet. They made tons and tons of pairs. Apparently, everybody hit. <laughs> and I have another one right here. This one, the big, big shouts to my guy, Supply Guys. Please follow him on his IG. If you need anything, and I mean anything, he got you. Like, he got early pairs, he got all the heat, everything, man. My, my man's out of Chicago. Uh, he actually, he got a couple pairs, and I was like, yo, let me get one so I can get for the channel, and he, he hooked it up, so I appreciate that. Thank you, Ethan. And I literally see him all the time at the events and stuff like that. We, sometimes we get a table next to each other and all that, and I might see him in St. Louis, hopefully. All right, here it is. Voila. Ah, just kidding. Anyways, here it is, man. Like I said, shout to my guy, Hype. Supply, shout out to my guy, Hype Supply, man. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, came through, looked out, definitely, bro. Anyways, here it is, man. This is the, uh, you guys see it, has a little vintage touch to it. A lot of people are calling this the reimagines as of right now, or I guess you can call it the Lost and Founds, or what were these things called? I don't know. They're doing the whole thing with the OG colorways and they make it a little more vintage looking, which I don't mind. 
I don't hate it. If you guys want to do all that, I'm all about it, you know? All right, here we go. Paper, paper. Woo! Wah, freaking la. Now, I do have the 2012 pair, which is actually one of my grails. And I knew these things were going to come out later this year. That's why I start wearing my 2012 pairs in like a couple events. So, you know, I just want to... I haven't worn them too much since I got them, but it kind of comes with this like little vintage little packaging here. And here it is, man. This is the reimagined white cement Air Jordan 3 with a Nike Air on the back. Now for me, this for an OG head and you know, a big fan of Michael Jordan and actually Jordan 3s, you know, I really do like Air Jordan 3s, a must cop for any sneaker heads out there, definitely. I mean, you cannot, you just cannot. I love the little vintage they got going on to it and it's not much vintage to be honest, you know, it's not like any cracked leather or anything like that like they did with the Lost and Founds. It just actually, all they did was mainly they put like some aging coloring on the midsole and on the, the heel tabs, that's it. That's it. Other than that, the leather quality is all right. It's pretty cool. Nice and tumbled, tumbled, you know? I'm not sure if this is this is more mimicking of the OG colorway because I feel like my 2012 pair is way more tumbled than this. This is more, it, it definitely feels like good leather, man. But, you know, good quality, but it doesn't, it's not as tumbled. If that makes sense. And tumble doesn't always mean better. Said so if you guys can appreciate you know, some nostalgia, some history, you know, the 88 joints, the white cements from the free throw line, these are definitely it, man. I am so happy they're finally coming out. It's been like almost 10 years since we got these things, I wanna say, at least. No, it's gonna go perfect with the T, the 88 from the old school rookies. Use my discount code, JMK10. This is going to be perfect, 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 man. I mean, honestly, I don't, I really don't need a new one because mine is still pretty good intact, but I wouldn't mind it. Like, you know, with the aging, you know, because you know how it looks like if you were to get like an actual OG colorway or an OG Air Jordan 3, like usually the midsole is pretty crumbled, the pull, the heel tab is usually pretty fade or like aging like this. So it's a nice little touch, you know? And you know, we already got the lost and founds, like the whole reimagined, like that, you know, vintage look. And now we're getting the threes, the vintage look. I can't wait to see what Nike, what Nike does with the next, you know, releases with the vintage look, you know? Like maybe we'll get like a bread four, you know, or a bread white cement with some vintage looking, you know? That would be really dope. So, hey, I can't wait to see what they do. I'm actually pretty excited. Or even some Air Jordan 5s with some real aging uh, outsole, but then that would really look like, you know, the whites, uh, the off whites, or I just can't wait to see what they do, man, for real. You know, it's, especially when some of this, like an 88, some history, these are actually really, really nice, you know? I, I can't wait to just come out. I think they come out sometime 2023 March, I want to say, or February, somewhere around that range, I think. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys in St. Louis this weekend, guys, on Saturday, December 17th. And then on Sunday, I will see you guys in my, Miami at the Sneaker Swap 365. Should be a good time. I have a table and everything, so make sure you guys come through and uh, just say what's up. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at German Chris on IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. And I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm German Chris. Push.